G'day guys and gal, there are all kinds of ways to achieve immortality in Warhammer 40k. Become a demon, become a phoenix lord, freeze yourself. But all of these have a bit of an obvious catch. However, being a perpetual, the only true immortal, has all the ups with none of the downs. Well, at least beyond the despair and loneliness you feel as time moves forward, but you remain, watching as generations of loved ones live and die. But that's neither here nor there. A perpetual doesn't just not age. They can come back from any injury or wound. But that isn't entirely true. Perpetuals can and have been killed, with most of them actually being dead in the current setting. Each of their deaths was wildly unique and interesting. Makes sense considering that they aren't actually supposed to be killable in the first place. Before we get started, I'm very happy to announce the Major Kill 500 subscriber merch. We spent months on this drop and the theme of it is what I would actually use and wear, not just novelty shit that I think you guys might like. But I'm showing it off now and giving you guys the chance to sign up to ensure you get it as it'll be a very limited drop. Anyone who signs up gets access before everyone else. I do all my script writing, editing, Warhammer painting and basically living in a comfy black robe. So I decided to make my own. It's incredibly comfortable and has bright red embroidery to give it that Major Kill touch. Bathrooms are clean and elegant so I chose a more minimal design. Plus the embroidery is the best way to print in my opinion. Life is better in a bathrobe. Another thing I wear like a Jewish person wears like a kippah are slides. They are easy to put on and take off, are much more comfortable and supportive than a flip flop and they have a cute little major kill on them. You can really just take them anywhere. My main goal here was to avoid making a slide that gave you blisters. So we have this really nice felt like material and the slide molds to your feet after a day or two of wearing it. We also bring back the classic t-shirt, singlet and hoodie. Unfortunately, the samples for those quite literally got lost in the mail and I didn't want to push this back again, so I only have the mock-ups and photos for now, but I'll have them with me for the launch on Friday if you wanted to wait till then. The t-shirt features a clean magical signature and the 500k mark on the sleeve in red. However, the real star is the design on the back, which is based on the design of my tattoo. Not exactly the same, but very similar. The tattoo will be revealed Friday, but here is the sneak peek. T-shirt also comes in red. The hoodie is a similar vibe, with the tattoo design in the same spot that I got mine. My personal favourite though is the singlet, with the design on the back that gets me pretty moist. The singlet works for both working out as well as casual wear. It's light and hugs the chest nicely. Finally, we have the Magic Hill water bottle. I took inspiration from this from my canvas in my living room that I had commissioned, and I basically just slapped a similar vibe on a water bottle. The bottle is metal. So durable as fuck, you could quickly beat someone to death with it. Overall, by far the best drop we have done. Make sure you sign up with the link below. You won't be locked into buying anything, you'll just have the opportunity to do so prior to everyone else, so there's really no reason not to. Today we'll go over each of the tried, tested and true methods of killing a perpetual. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Before we discuss how to shank an immortal to death, what is a perpetual really? Simply put, they are a catch-free immortal that either naturally occurs or are created deliberately or accidentally. For whatever reason, a cluster of them, including the Emperor, Erda, Alanis Person, and more, were born a few thousand years before the Roman times. Since then, very, very few have been born over the following thousands of years, but it's not really clear why. Some people, like the Cabal, the Emperor, or even Chaos, can create perpetuals. However, Chaos only does it by accident Accident, the Cabal's Perpetuals are like a stunted, less impressive version, and the Emperor's Perpetuals are basically just extensions of himself to fulfill a very specific goal that he only trusts himself to fulfill but can't actually be there. It's important to note that not all Perpetuals, even the natural born, are the same. Their level of invulnerability varies. For example, Malkador was genuinely killed by Magnus unleashing a torrent of psychic cum at his face, but a similar, more powerful attack on Vulcan just got shrugged off. So for each method of perpetual killing, I'll also discuss who has survived it and who it would work on. Remember, the hard part isn't killing a perpetual, it's keeping them dead. So with that in mind, let's discuss the first method. For demi-perpetuals like John Grammaticus, their resurrection depends on the Cabal pressing the revive button. So theoretically, if they were sick of him, a simple gunshot to the head would do the trick. It would need to be violent though, as he doesn't age, gets sick, and is quite hard to kill in general. But for a true perpetual, you don't need a bunch of aliens sucking on your nuts to bring you back. Vulcan was decapitated, frozen, incinerated, bisected, impaled, starved, suffocated, and nuked, amongst dozens of other more horrific methods. He regenerated without issue each and every time. His murderer was Conrad Curse, so not just some chump, but a master of inflicting death. Conrad also would have foresaw the results of hundreds, if not thousands of more kills, and nothing put the big cuddly man down for long. If anything, his regeneration sped up the more he was killed, almost like it was a muscle being trained. So fortunately, that bit of lore pretty much wipes out the idea that any form of 
conventional method can kill a perpetual. However, there is a literal kryptonite for perpetuals, it even looks like kryptonite, called fulgurite. Basically a spear-shaped shard of glowing crystal that is embedded with a shard of the Empress Psychic Might. If you stab a perpetual with a shard of fulgurite, it will permanently kill them. Sometimes. It's complicated. Why would the Emperor create a weapon that could only kill himself and his allies? After all, Chaos has only accidentally created one perpetual and she quickly abandoned them. Well, he didn't mean to. Basically, while flexing on some noobs, the Emperor struck some Sam with psychic lightning, creating the Fulgurite without noticing. That Fulgurite then stayed hidden for centuries before being discovered by John Grammaticus. John was then tasked by the Cabal with bringing the Fulgurite to Conrad Curse and giving it to the Night Haunter, allowing Conrad to finally kill Vulcan for good. The reason why it had to be Conrad is because in order to permakill a perpetual Primarch, which is basically a super perpetual, a Primarch had to be the one wielding the Fulgurite. If Vulcan died, humanity would be doomed as he had an important role to play in the upcoming Siege of Terra. However, John had gotten sick of these alien pricks telling him what to do all the time. So he stabbed Vulcan himself, killing the Primarch for quite a while, but also doing a hard factory reset on him, restoring Vulcan back to sanity after he had lost it due to his dozens of deaths at the hand of Conrad. As as well as becoming a makeshift meteor. So in this instance, the Fulgurite did not actually kill a Perpetual, but restored him. However, that doesn't mean it can't kill Perpetuals. If Conrad did it, no more Vulcan. Eldrad used that same piece of Fulgurite to kill Daemon Perantis, another Perpetual. So it's pretty clear that it does indeed work when used as intended. Perpetuals can also be killed by an extreme amount of psychic energy. When Magnus traveled to Terra during the Heresy to speak with his father, he and Malkador spoke prior. However, Magnus, who was a bit unstable at the time due to a few things that have been going on, flew into a rage and come blasted Malkador with a shitload of psychic energy. The force was so great that Malkador, a perpetual, was unable to regenerate. He wasn't completely 100% dead, but he definitely wasn't alive and was not going to be able to regenerate by himself. So that does work. This isn't a blanket method though. Vulcan was unmade by Magnus with a much more powerful attack, yet he was able to push through it and tombstone his brother. As I said, big boy Vulcan is a Primarch Perpetual, a league above the rest save his daddy. Vulcan had also been killed an absolute metric fuck ton of times, hence his regenerative abilities had been progressively overloading. So how the fuck do you kill Vulcan if he survives Fulgurite and Psychic? death semen. That's the neat part, you don't. In saying that, Vulcan has been gone for thousands of years after tackling a mega orc into a vat of pure wa energy. While I highly doubt this has permakilled him, the unusual mix of perpetual and orc magic has likely made Vulcan's regeneration and sanity a bit whack. So I wouldn't be surprised if he is currently running around on some jungle world, shaking his 30 inch schlong around and scaring the local fauna, while he talks like a low class cockney British person. Coming back to Malkador's psychic death example, it gives us another method of killing a perpetual. See, to bring Malkador back, another of the OG true perpetuals had to basically transfer their life force over to Malkador, killing themselves in the process to bring him back. Perpetual power seems to run on life force more than anything else. Weapons that attack your very life essence seem to be the weapons that work the best. Thus, transferring their life essence will quickly turn a perpetual to dust, killing them. Speaking of which, nothing quite fucks up your life essence like the Emperor's favorite toy, the golden throne. This thing sucks you dry on a physical and spiritual level. When the Emperor needed to go spank Horus, Malkador took his place on the Golden Throne. Despite Malkador being a powerful psyker and a perpetual, it only took a few hours for the throne's energies to drain him dry, permanently killing him. Current law states that Malkador transferred some of his essence to the Emperor's wounded form, which is what finished him off. But it's made clear that he was on the brink of oblivion anyway, and from the way the law is heading, Malkador probably won't end up doing that, simply expiring from his effort on the throne. The Golden Throne is why the Emperor cannot regenerate from his fight with Horus. It is draining him whilst his perpetual power is regenerating him, thus locking him in an endless cycle. This is why a lot of people think the Imperium should turn off the throne and let the Emperor die. Sure, shit would get real bad real quick, but if the Emperor could return to his glorious sexy tanned form, surely he could reunite the Imperium in quick order. The issue is that if the Emperor dies and doesn't return, then everyone is mega fucked. With how long he's been on the throne, combined with the uniquely devastating wounds inflicted by Horus, it's unclear if the Emperor's perpetual power would even be able to regenerate him in the first place. So it's one of those times where it's probably just not worth the risk. So, a bit of Fulgurite, the Golden Throne, or a massive psychic blast will permakill most perpetuals. The only exceptions are Vulcan, who can survive the psychic attack and recall
requires a Primarch to wield the Fulgurite and the Emperor, who probably wouldn't give a shit if he got stabbed with his own power. It might actually be refreshing for him. And as he has been sitting on the throne for 10,000 years, it's safe to say it's not exactly a reliable method of killing him. As of now, the Emperor has no known method of ending his life. Now that is a flex. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then sign up to the Major Kill merch website. It's free and gives you access to every single merch drop before everyone else. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more unkillable content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.